Rick, 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 and Thaddeus on the beat. Squad. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, man? Feeling good? Feeling good, feeling good. We got a lot to talk about. Um, I wanted to specifically um, get into some basketball. My NBA playoffs is underway. Um, the Sixers have officially upset. No, they've been upset by the Brooklyn Nets in game one. Um, but before we get to that, I wanted to talk about our boy, or maybe y'all boy, Magic Johnson. That's your boy. Lakers, right? I thought he was my boy, <laughs> but I don't know, man. He just randomly got up and quit his job at a press conference and didn't tell his boss. Well, what was your reaction when you first heard that? I'm professional, obviously. I think, I think deeper than that though, right? So it's easy for everybody to say, oh, the job got hard for him. He wants to live a celebrity lifestyle. You gotta remember, Magic is sick. Like, you don't know if there's something deeper than this. When I think about how social media is kind of running the news, we go to social media to get our news, but then we kind of disseminate it in a way that we can get our followers. So we attach a joke to it. We try to go viral with Absolutely. it. We try to say something sensational. There might be something deeper here that, you know. When you say sick, you're talking about. He, he the, had AIDS since. HIV. I mean, <laughs> I get what you're saying. I, I feel like that's not the case. That's not right. Um, I just, I'm just saying, I, it, there's a lot more options. It's just no, a agree. strange situation. To how strange, put. Yeah. There's not a lot of information. Yeah. He has been laughing it off. and <laughs> I'm not going to be here. <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll get more information. I'm sure we might not ever find out exactly why, you know, rhyme or reason or anything like that. But um, now nah, I feel like he I feel like he's feeling the pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought he was gonna come. I think he thought he was gonna come into L.A. He's this L.A. guy. He's up in the rafters, and he was gonna get LeBron. He's gonna get Paul George. Paul George. He's gonna get A.D. And I think he said uh, in one of these off seasons how how if he didn't get somebody he would fire himself. Three years he gave himself. So um, I'm almost. <laughs> I forgot he said. I, that. Yeah. He so I, out. so I almost feel like he you know he's working the phones he's talking to people and he's not getting the feedback that mm -hmm. he wants and he's kind of like yo we didn't have a great year this year let me get out of here and but that know, looks even crazier. That's, I don't disagree with you. How does how does LeBron feel about like the fact that he pulled up to LeBron's house at midnight on July first, right, to be able to talk to him yep. and quote unquote convince him to come to LA, and then you quit without even telling him, giving him a heads up. Rich Paul and them at Clutch Porch have got to be like, bro, like they had to have text Magic some real nasty things. <laughs> Maybe not nasty things, but like, yo, what are you doing? We came here because Just you mad convinced question them. Marks. Right. Because <laughs> when, apparently when he signed, when um, LeBron signed, all they did was send like balloons and like congratulation things like emojis to Jeannie Buss or to um, Rob Palenka. He had to have sent a bunch of question marks like, w we came here because you convinced yeah. us you were building something that we'd want to be a part of. Yep. So I'm a little confused and how it makes him look real bad as a businessman. To not want to face your boss. Like, what are you talking about, Magic? One of the best black businessmen. Ever. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? He up and leaves. If you're LeBron and LeBron's team, you're embarrassed, though. Do you too. want out? I don't know if you want out, but you're seriously thinking about, I think now you're thinking how people are thinking about you. Everywhere you go, there's an issue with a coach and with management. Sure. And if you're LeBron, this time you're like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I did my best. I actually didn't we do anything. We got hurt. Right. I had no problems with Magic. I came here because, in part, Magic and yeah. what I thought was going to happen. He did. And now everybody's looking at me like I'm the coach killer, management killer. Like, right. it's not fair to me, man. Right. And also, how does this look? Who's the next guy? Can they get talent, whoever the next dude is? Does anybody want to play with me? Because all my boys are saying they want to go somewhere else anyway. Very true. And what's bad is, like, Luke gets, Luke gets fired. And literally a, a second after... Tyron lose the front runner, yeah. and it's like my friend texts me either. like, "Bro, this is the LeBron effect." I'm like, "LeBron probably home chilling right now with his kids," and you're talking about he's the reason why they're looking at Ty Lue. I'm like, people were gonna assume that regardless because of the connections going yeah, back, yeah. but people are forgetting Ty Lue's a champion with the Lakers. He was a form. He got stepped on by AI, <laughs> stepped over by AI yeah. 
playing for the Lakers, winning two or three championships. So it's like, for me, I don't think LeBron has anything to do with any of the stuff that happened in the last couple of days. But isn't but, that part of the problem is you keep trying to keep it in the family with LA? So you're thinking who's available? Mm. Ty Lu, all right. I mean, he's yeah. coached LeBron already. Yeah. He he's won a, a championship with LeBron already and a championship with the Lakers. So it's like, I think it's too easy. But I don't think he's the guy. I think you got to step outside and do something I do. Different. I agree with that. Yeah, at some point, I, f- I feel like that's any business. If, you, if you're doing things one way, you know, if they're just bringing in former Lakers, former players, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, at some point you got to shake it up if you're looking to get results because they have it. to the playoffs. Yeah. One of these teams that's playing... Now. Speaking of playoffs, who, who do you guys what do you guys think of um, of these matchups? There's a lot of interesting matchups mm-hmm. in the playoffs. Western Conference, you know, Houston dropped down to four, so they'd be playing Golden State in round two um, if they beat Utah. Yep. You got the Eastern Conference. You got Boston, who looked shaky all season. They get a Indiana team who's been scrapping since Oladipo went down. Mm-hmm. What do What do you guys think? How do you guys think this, this thing plays out? I like. I like the matchup of Philly and Brooklyn. I think it's going to be the most entertaining one. I think it's too easy to look at seeding and say it's going to it's going to be it's like March Madness. You can't look at one seeds and be like write them all in. You know what I mean? And maybe that's the reason that Milwaukee isn't so easy to to mm. run through. I know that yep. you you're not sold on mm. everything they got there. But my favorite matchup in the East is Brooklyn and Philly, and in the West, like I love Denver. So. It almost wouldn't matter if Denver was playing anybody except Houston and Golden State. I believe Denver got it mm. and, and scratch them for it because I like what they're doing out there. Yeah, and they have home court and they're they're tough to beat at home. Yeah. Like, what do you? How do you think this plays out? Do you, is Golden State a lot to repeat? Are they three repeating? I don't think for the first. And I'm I'm definitely one of those people that didn't watch. I love basketball. I didn't watch every night because mm-hmm. in the back of my head, I was like... No, it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm like, at the end of the season, we're going to get to the playoffs. Golden State's going to be there, and it's going to be whoever they're going to be in the finals. Yep. Um, but in the games that I have caught and, you know, highlights and just... I don't think Golden State's a lock this year. I think they, they've obviously got the talent. You know, they can turn it on. They can get hot. They can run through the playoffs. But I think there is a lot... Not a lot. There is some dysfunction within within the team, be it Draymond, be it KD. Um, you know, what KD is going to be doing after this season, whatever the case is. So um, I definitely think there's, they're probably the most talented team in the playoffs. Um, but that's not to say that they can't get knocked off, um, I think, even by Houston in round two. I think the biggest threat to beat Golden State coming out of the Eastern Conference is Toronto. I think either Toronto or... I like Boston oh, yeah. matchup. Oh, I love Tio? Toronto. I love Toronto. I think yeah. Toronto is going to run through the East. I, my, my pick to come out the East was going to be Philadelphia. I thought Philly had all the tools, but with Ben Simmons' abil- inability to score, like... Yeah. In a playoff series, it's going to be tough. That's what killed them last year against exactly. Boston when they lost. That's what I was about to say. So it's like, I feel like when they get against Toronto, and Toronto has a whole bunch of weapons, and they have all these experienced guys, Danny Green and Kawhi, who are there now. There's no longer the DeRozan and, and you know, your boy Lowry um, connection who choke every year. This is a new regime. Yeah. I think Toronto could give them a run for, for all of their money. That'd be interesting. It would definitely be. Coaching everything, too. Yeah, it, right. could be, it could be a different outcome. And Boogie, like, I, no one's talking about the Boogie effect. I don't know if Boogie is going to be a positive impact for Golden State for, in the playoff. That's not their way of playing, and I just don't think they want to dump it down low and let Boogie go to work. I don't know. We do this every year in football, too, with the Patriots. <laughs> we do. They win, they win, they win, and every time we don't want them to, yeah. so we say, oh, this is how they're going to lose, and then they don't. And then when they played the Falcons, it's like, oh, yeah, we're so everybody loved it. And then they came back and found a way. And then when they lost to Philly, we all tried to say, we saw it coming like Philly was so nice. They were doing this, this, and that. But if, if Philly didn't win, it'd be like, yeah, we know. We know what it is. Right. True. So with Golden State, this is just what they do. We don't want them to win. You want them to win? That's a no. You don't, you want, them you don't want them to win. <laughs> we don't, I don't want know them to win. So we're seeing all these ways that they could lose and all the ways that – because. We don't like the Patriots winning either. We like different teams, so we can think of a hundred different ways that the Patriots can lose. And they've been switching their style up a little bit too. They bring in new pieces and new people, and defense is different. O tackle's been different like three years now, and they just find a way. I don't hate the Warriors, bro. Like, 
they're probably the the dynasty that I least hate of any team that wasn't my team. Like, I don't hate the Warriors either. Like I would if they won, I wouldn't really care much. Rick, Rick, like Rick, Rick. Un- unless I, my team was in the running and didn't win it. Yeah. But like I don't hate. I was rooting for them the last couple of years because I wanted LeBron to get out of there. I I always told yeah. him LeBron needs to lose to leave Cleveland. I figured like he was gonna have enough losing, and he he got swept and he came to L. A. But I don't. If the Warriors won, I wouldn't mind. But I definitely don't want Houston winning, but I do think Houston can beat them. I don't need Chris Paul winning a chip, bro. I don't. <laughs> what? He should have been a Laker. He should be a Laker right now, bro. That wasn't, up that wasn't his fault. I don't care. He went to eat. Bro, nah. AD, AD has to be out, right? There's ways you could get out of a situation, bro. Fault, bro. Bro, he went to the Clippers and em- he embraced it. He went there and embraced it and then was dogging us for years. Nah, family, you all set. What are you talking about? You're all set, bro. The commissioner said you can't play with Kobe because that would be unfair. But then the commissioner but you could play was like, with Blake Griffin. hey, LeBron, you want to go to Miami? That yeah. sounds pretty cool. Like, that's, yeah. not, that's not on Chris Paul. Man. He embraced the, being a Clipper, bro. <laughs> You can't do that. That wasn't your team. Houston at six. <laughs> Houston at six? Houston at six. All right, well, um, who's your MVP pick since we're on Houston? Is it Harden? Is it, is it, is it Giannis? No, it's Giannis. I mean. I've, I've been flip-flopping. Really? I've, yeah. I, I've been saying Giannis, and I think in your poll I picked Giannis uh, on, on Instagram. I can't discount what James Harden did this year. Early in the year... When Chris Paul went down, they had a bunch of injuries. That's when he went on that run yeah, yeah. where he's scoring under 30. 500 and like yeah, yeah. When he's playoffs. he's scoring 30 plus for 30 plus, um, he put the team on his back and really he kept them in the hunt. He kept them in the top half of the Western he's Conference. Annoying though, man. I don't disagree with you on that <laughs> either. But you know what I'm saying? Like for a team that had expectations, aspirations of making a run. If he doesn't do what he does, yeah, and true. and you know a lot of people they don't like the ISO ball and things like that, but if he didn't do what he what he did, they don't have the talent on that team to stay in the top half of the Western Conference. That's what's interesting to me because I feel like if Chris Paul was healthy, they would have still had the talent, but he wasn't. So that that would kill that whole argument that I'm making. But you don't think Giannis did more with less than well, watch Harden? this though. You like Harden because he put the team on his back and showed out with points in the points category and they won a bunch of games Mm -hmm. Giannis has led his team in points rebounds and assists and they won 60 plus best record in the league best record in the league and only a handful of dudes have done that led in all three of those and and won 60 plus I think it's Wilt LeBron LeBron Giannis like you're in historical it's hard to just use stats because you can tell whatever story you want we don't talk about Russ. Like, that's hard to average a triple-double, but nobody wants huh. to give him that due. But then, <laughs> what's the record, though, too, right? Yeah. So, Giannis is just getting it done. But well, you can easily be the MVP of the league, whatever MVP means. Is it most outstanding? Are you, is it really value to your team? Whatever it is, he could be the MVP, and they could not win. They could not even yeah. go to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's possible. It's, this is, it's tough. Because but he's the MVP, though. I think so. I, and I, I don't think it should be a debate. Not that I'm disrespecting Harden, what he did, but, like, Harden did all that, but I feel like Giannis did more for his team, like, as far as, like, what he brings on defense and what he brings as a rebounder, not just, like, putting a bunch of points on the board. And this is coming from a person who my favorite player ever is Kobe, and I felt like Kobe should have won a couple of MVPs based off crazy scoring seasons. So it's like, what Harden did was amazing. And I feel feel like I would give it to Giannis, too, because Harden just won one. So it's like... That's how it goes, too, sometimes. Sometimes that's how it goes. That's why LeBron doesn't win every year. Exactly. Sometimes it'd be like that. A friend of mine has been arguing about it at work. I know we only got a couple minutes left. Is KD better than Durant at this point in his career? Like, right now. Forget moving forward. Is Who's the better player right now? Is KD KD or LeBron? Yeah. All around... Because LeBron was hurt, so I don't know. I was going to ask you this before we started filming. Like, is LeBron the best player in the world today? Or is it because of the season he had and we wait to see who wins MVP? Is Harden better than LeBron right now? Is Giannis better, better than LeBron no, I wouldn't. today? I, I think, Giannis is not better than LeBron yet. You don't think so? No. You think it's close? But it's debatable, see? I think it's... I think it's... A l- no. So I'm, you, you think, it's, sure, you think it's LeBron or KD? Yes, I think LeBron or KD. I don't think Giannis is ready yet. He doesn't. He needs to be. When he gets a jump shot, he'll definitely be the best player in the game. 
He'll be the most unstoppable player we've probably seen in a that's long true. time. That's probably true. He can't shoot right now. I watched the game when they played the Lakers. This was like before the Lakers' demise started going down um, at Staples. And LeBron was guarding him. And LeBron just backed off him and like was forcing him to shoot. And he wouldn't shoot. Yeah. He was treating him like Ben Simmons a little bit. He wouldn't <laughs> shoot. And he had like 14 points. Like he didn't put up a lot of points. Um, and I was just like, wow. I like That's the first time. I don't really watch him a lot. They don't show him a lot on TV. Mm-hmm. So it's like. He's there's a lot of weaknesses in his offensive game that if you really like come playoffs, that's why I'm unsure about them. Come playoffs, what happens when they're guarding you like off and now they're guarding all your shooters like the Middletons and the other guys? What are you gonna do, Giannis? Are you gonna be able to just still drive through everybody and dunk it from the free throw line like you've been doing all so regular? You're not sure season? about him in the playoffs? But you're sure that he's that good? I'm sure he's gonna put up numbers. I'm not sure how like I feel like a lot of a lot of numbers are gonna be garbage numbers. Like they won't matter. They'll be like, oh, he scored all that points, but when they need a big bucket and it needs to come via a jump shot, how's that how's he gonna do it? He's gonna get assists, even though Malcolm brought him in. Or he's Brooke. Gonna, yeah. Maybe Brooke will make all the three pointers, right? Yeah. I, I mean, man, I don't know. Like Alright, so who you got? Who you got making the finals right now? I know we're gonna do finals predictions later on. Right now, if you have to pick two teams make it to the finals right now. My pick is I think Toronto and Golden State. I think Toronto and Golden State. I only say I only don't say Houston because I think Utah has a Utah really has a chance to upset Houston. I think Houston I think people are overlooking that. I think if not a if not a an upset, they're gonna they're gonna take a lot out of them. Oh absolutely it'll go I think it'll go seven. Yeah. And that's rough. Yeah. That's rough in round one. Right, yeah turn right back around. Yeah. Philly Houston. Do you really believe that? Philly Houston. I'm saying it. I, I really liked Philly too, but Ben, man, he's got to, like, it's not going to, he's not going to get a jump shot tonight. <laughs> like, that's tough. It's not his team, though. Yeah, but they need him to do a lot. Like, Embiid's not healthy. Jimmy Butler is going to. He could get healthy overnight, though. That's. It's happened. <laughs> it's right. happened. I guess. A little quarter zone here, a little ice here, <laughs> a little top a couple Advil. Jimmy steps up. Jimmy motiv- motivates him. To be honest, Harris didn't in. play at all. He didn't play well yeah, at all see. today. Like, I like them, but we'll they see. Have the pieces, man. It's because you watched today. If we did this before the game, <laughs> y'all think Philly could go the whole way. And then homeboy doesn't play. Everybody else doesn't play well. Philly, Houston. Okay. John, Houston is six. Mm. Oh, wow. Hashtag. So Chris Paul wins. Yeah. You know why? Because he deserves it. No, <laughs> whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm gonna go with Golden State out the out the Western Conference. Um, again, I don't dislike them. I'm kind of tired of seeing them win, and I also want to see what that does to the franchise if they lose. If that means KD's leaving, if Draymond's leaving, if Clay's leaving, Clay's leaving yeah, yeah, if Boogie's sure. leaving, mm-hmm. you know. Winning, winning galvanizes a lot of things. So, um, Golden State out the West, and then the East. Say Boston. No, no, I, 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 they haven't gelled at all this season. So, um, I like Toronto. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Golden State, Boston. <laughs> he did it. He did it. I wouldn't be shocked at all if Boston got there because they have the talent. Like, I wouldn't be shocked at all. And Kyrie, we know what Kyrie does come playoff time. Um, I'm, I'm not sold on that at you're all. Not so, obviously, all. you took forever to answer. <laughs> I'm not sold on that at all. But, um, again, like I said, they haven't gelled all year. I'm not saying they're going to, but like you guys said, they do have the talent to make a run. And um, you know, just, it's playoff time. You the know, and, is and, what wins. and like really, that's you know, you guys get hot at the right time. So Boston, right. Golden State. I got Golden State, um, Toronto. You got Houston, Philly, Houston, <laughs> Houston is Philly, six. and you have Boston and Golden State. Yeah. There it is. Our playoff predictions. We'll see y'all next time.